Today I'll show you how to add a front end login page and widgets in WordPress. This is an easy way to add a front end login page that lets your users log in directly from the front end of your website. So if you're ready, let's dive in. With the first method, we're going to add a front end login page with WP Forms. WP Forms is the easiest to use drag and drop form builder out there, but they also have an amazing way to allow you to create a front end login page just for your website. You want to install and activate the WP Forms plugin. And you can watch this video as I walk you through step by step on how to install and activate the plugin on your website so you can get started. And then to get the best deal on WP Forms, just head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner. And this will give you the best discount on WP Forms. Once you have all of that and you have everything installed and set up, we can go to WP Forms, we can go to add ons. And from here, we're looking for the user registration add on. You can either search for it by scrolling through, or if you just know the name of it, you can simply go up here and search for it. The user registration add on is what we want. So let's go ahead and install this add on. Once it's installed, it'll also activate automatically for you. Now we can head over to the left and under WP forms, we can click add new. From here, we can give it a name. And then from down here, we can search for the user login form. This is the one we want to use. So let's go ahead and click use template. Now it'll come out and show us what it looks like. It's a very simple login area. Now we can click save and we want to embed this on our sidebar area. So I'm going to exit out of this and I want to go to my appearance widgets area so I can add the WP forms area in the widget area. And your widget area might look this a little bit different. This is the using the Astra theme. So I'm going to go in here and I want to click on the plus icon here and I want to search for WP forms and I want to select the form that I just created the login form and give it a title or we can just display form name, which is the same title. Now we can update this and we can see it in action and then scrolling down. I'm logged out. So now I can see the login widget area. Now method two is by using a plugin called Seedprod. Seedprod does an amazing job. It is the best landing page builder out there for WordPress. And you can create a design specifically for your website. They do a really good job. The best part about it is they also have a lot of templates that you can choose from to make it look even better. And you'll want to install Seedprod. Again, I'll have a link in the description below of the Seedprod. You can use promo code WPBVIP so you'll get the best discount on Seedprod and you'll want to set it up. Once you set up Seedprod, then let's get over to our Seedprod area on the left and we'll go to pages. And from here, you see all of these items that you can do. You can do a coming soon, a maintenance mode for a four page login page. You can even do landing pages like sales pages. But for this one, we're going to customize our login page. So let's go ahead and set up a login page and then automatically it will show us all of these login templates that we can choose from. You'll want to pick one that's close enough to your brand, but that's OK. If there's not one that you see that's close enough, this is all completely customizable. So for this one, I'm just going to pick the box geo login. You can give it a name and start editing the page. Very cool. And so from here, you can change out everything. So for instance, I want to remove this image. You can upload an image from your own area. Since we have an outdoor style website, let's go ahead and pick an image here. And then if there's something that you do that you don't like, you can simply come down here and say undo, undo, undo until you come up with something better. You can undo or redo, which is perfect because I didn't like what I chose. So we can come back here, try it again. The cool thing about it is you can even remove it and use a stock image. That looks a little bit better. You can play with that to make it work exactly for you. And then you can even add or remove any of these items here. But since we want to keep this nice and simple, we'll simply keep it like that and we can save it. And now we can close it out and we'll need to do one final thing. We need to make this active so that when somebody goes to log in to our site, then they'll see this. And then if you're logged out, then you'll have the login here. And then the third method is by using another plugin called theme my login. So you want to go to plugins, add new, and we're going to search for theme my login. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and then stick around to activate it as well. Now we can come over on the left and do theme my login and let's go to general. From here, we want to decide the login type. Let's just do default. For registration type, we'll do default and then password. 
allow users to set their own and automatically log in users after registration. I'm going to leave all of this the same and just click save changes. And now we can also add this to our widget series. So we can go to appearance widgets. And instead of having the WP forms one here, I can remove that and add this one. This way we're going to add it via short code. I'm going to left click drag this up here. I can add the theme my login short code that you see here. And then when we update this, when we go to our site, we have a login page right here. And if you're looking to set up custom landing pages for your website, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to create a custom landing page for your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.